not squander the great gift I've been given. Bilgewater is mine and mine alone. Hello everyone, Lucky Cat here. Welcome back to this channel. So today's video will be a little bit different because I'm going to do a deck guide before the gameplay for the first time on this channel. So today's video we are going to play Gwen gameplay deck. The main idea of this deck is to leveling up Gwen and then to power up Gwen skill, the snip snip that can drain one from enemy nexus for every two power she have with the powder keg that generate from line up or from the gangplank also we can uh, power up the Gwen skill with the threadway too so for the example if you have uh, one powder keg in your board then your Gwen will drain for two from enemy nexus for every two power she have so if Gwen have 10 power then it's mean that Gwen will also drain for 10 from the enemy nexus and if you have two powder keg in your board then Gwen will drain for three from enemy nexus for every two power she have which means if Gwen have 10 power then she will drain for 15 damage which is very disgusting and also can become our win condition too and for Triggering Hollowed, we have a classic uh, Hollowed card, which is uh, the Boisterous Host and then Phantom Butler, Conductor of the Mist that generate Ghastly Band, also strike up the band that can generate two Ghastly Bands, and from the Gwen herself. Also, uh, to leveling up gameplay, we have Parley here, and Line Up that generate Knock'em Down to deal Nexus damage but we are going to keep this card to use it for the combo with Gwen mostly and from make it rain 2 every time we deal damage to open a nexus in each turn we not only to level up game plan we also powering up our refret that have overwhelm which have a very good synergy with hollow 2 so our alternate win con is beside the Gwen powder cake combo will be the refret Offwam Hollowed combo that can deal a ridiculous damage directly to your opponent Nexus. Also, Gangplank have the Offwam keyword too that have a good synergy with Hollow too. And don't forget here we also have Jeb's Ravine, uh, Elusive that have a very good synergy with Hollow too. In this deck, we also have another good combo here with the help of Playful Trickster that can give us a rally and allow us to trigger the hollowed buff twice in the same turn so for the example if you attack with Jeb's Raven um, that get buff from the hollowed alongside with another unit that will get recalled by playful trickster Jeb's Raven will deal damage to open a nexus and then we get some rally then we attack again with Jeb's Raven for the second time and Jeb's Raven will get another buff from Hollowed buff. Uh, not only Jeb's Raven can do that, Ref Red and Gangplank also have a good synergy with that combo too because of Overwhelm keywords. I think that's it for the deck guide today. I have some fun game with this deck but I don't know this deck is competitive enough so I will leave the deck list on the description below so you guys can try it. Feel free to modify it and i'll show you guys some gameplay too hope you guys enjoy it if you like this video please leave the like and subscribe to this channel let me know if you like my first deck guide too thanks guys for watching have a good day and i'll see you on the next video Uh, too much game playing here.
cannot break rules, I bend them slightly. The party never ends, nor its spillages. Maybe I should just king gang kill gang playing while I can. Uh, I mean action, not king playing. Because last turn we have enough mana to play partly and make it rain. Oh, he want to give extra stats to action maybe. Oh, or this Claw of the Dragon too. Oh, now he has tough, which means I cannot kill it with Parley anymore. Oh, that is sick play. Trust your instincts. Let's fly. Gladly. This piece will be transformative. In and out. Fortunately, I don't play Gwen. Dog is worthless. We are what we do. But he can challenge us one more time, maybe. Hmm, Wolf Cat doesn't look good enough, I guess. I mean, Wolf Red, not Cat. Try to leveling up Gwen here. Okay. At least he doesn't predict a card. To draw the card that he need. Nothing to fear. Uh, Gwen is not fast enough to level up. I'm having a hard time to deal with Akshan too. This is justice. Oh, I lost my Gwen now. We laugh at death. <laughs> you are interrupting. Uh, 10 power, huh? Tips Raven is also good, even though we lost the Etchun. Should I just go white? Uh, maybe I play Ghastly Band to... Um... I'm trying to go white here just to deal as many damage as I can to his nexus. Forcing him to block with Akshan too. 
difficulty. Hug it out. Oh, stun. He's almost running out of card here. This is my game plan, we should remember. I almost played it. Yeah. Now it's OTK time. <sighs> I bet he has up sulfur and enough mana to just OTK us. Mm, what a ridiculous deck. I don't have a chance to win, I guess. This listen is just uh, too big for us. With Overham, it isn't exactly till now. Oh. Mm, more stun in the future. A wise retreat. I lost my game playing. Villains beware. Oh, I should just play Make It Rain 2. Just to stop that stun. Oh, we have to calculate. Um, if only my Gwen is level up. This is our only way to stop us now. Bilgewater is mine and mine alone. I'll make corpses of them all. Oops, he did a misplay because I have the elusive one. Let's do this. <laughs> this will do for now. We got some blocker here. Just need a way to kill any two. Oh, he's not developing in turn one, which is good for us. Uh, let's pass for now and see what he will try to do. Maybe it, it is a hall spider. Come closer. I don't bite. I don't think he will block. We could use a bite. We are the very soul of this. Uh, maybe he'll play Hot Spider here. No Hot Spider too. 
but why go hard? Now he just become a control deck if he run go hard. I think I'd like to hear something lively. Very well, madam. He of C, everyone. Yeah, it is a control deck. To fear. I don't really want him to block with spider too. He should play he shouldn't play that one because uh, oh he can generate another Alice. Another spiderling, I guess. I should never tire of something so grand. Cut to the chase. Oh we almost lost Gwen, you know? Because of this integrate. You'll serve me one way or another. Losing two more spider. Yeah, I shouldn't block that spider lane because now my Gwen is vulnerable to rough and flock too. Uh, such a waste. We should remember about that next time. Ooh, he has a lot of this thing. But I have to leveling up our Gwen next turn. My next my Gwen is almost leveling up last time. My true beauty is beneath the skin. I shall need my tools. Very good. Here's the idea. We are leveling up Gwen now. And our Gwen skill will be powering up by our keg, which means it will drain um, the opponent Nexus health more. I mean, the power of Gwen Snip will be three times stronger than usual. Ooh! I wonder if he is generating normal crawling sensation or Alice crawling sensation from the catalog of regrets. Please let me see the combo. Don't kill my Gwen next turn with Vengeance or something else. <laughs> no, that one is weird. How many Hollow? Uh, we can play this.
everyone pays. Bilgewater is mine and mine alone. I'll uh, bait him to play some mana first, maybe Fangians into my Gangplank. Yeah, or stun. Ref red. Come on, Tippers. It's playtime. I think I'd like to hear something lively. Very well, madam. Now it's time for the combo. Look at this. Rain 2. Rain 2 for every 2 power I have. <laughs> so strong. He still survives so we we have... To, uh, just let me finish it. <laughs> For now. We play against Yasuo Katarina. We shall sing, dance, and forget our woes. We can try to progressing our a lot first. And I don't think he have a uh, early game unit unless he play Fey. Oh, like oh, that one is unusual. Sometimes this deck doesn't run this card. Only f the Fey Wilder Builder for turn two. Yeah, that is good because it's progressing my hollow, so not bad. Katarina's, yeah, I mean this card. Fey, Bladed Wheeler. Forcing, forcing him to block here. Because we are dealing a lot of damage. He can recall our unit too. Or stun. Now who's got the upper hand? We are progressing gangplank level up. Um yeah, gangplank is slowly leveling up in this deck. Underestimate. I dare you. Gotta go with the flow. Hmm, line up cannot kill this one too. Uh, Gwen can help us to leveling up game playing because she is directly hit opponent Nexus. Um, not looking good for us. Uh, maybe I should just run Vengeance in this deck too. He's stunning a lot, almost leveling up Yasuo too. For the guiltless. We are one off from leveling up Gwen. Two off actually. Should I drop gang playing here? Maybe next turn, right? Yeah, I should just drop gang playing because gang playing can powering up our I rarely forget. 
our Gwen, uh, Snip. No one is promised tomorrow. Still able to draw some card. Yeah, maybe I should run Vengeance in this deck too. To to stop this Yasuo. I'm trying so hard to kill Yasuo there. <laughs> the prettier the rose, the what? The thorns. Uh, looks like we are going to win. Actually, I want to see the cat combo, but uh, he can stun us with Guile. And <laughs> GG. Did you see that? I did that. Me. Please make yourself right at home. Go hard. Hmm. I think he ran the Evil Imperfectionist in this deck just to copy the Go hard. Oh, now we get a good value for our Mega Train if he open attack. And we also hit the Nexus, which is good for us to progress Gangplank level up. And also our Wrath Red. Oh, he helped us to draw too. Uh, not looking good because of... This is a chance for me to leave my mark. Because of Go Hard and Pack Your Back. But I think this deck is pretty strong. He is not going to running out of card. Because he has a lot of way to copy... The go hard. Um, should we kill... We kill Ezreal here. Glimpse beyond maybe, but he will drawing too much card. Oops. He has a mystic shot for sure. Oh, vengeance! Almost leveling up, Gwen. Why he have to be so mean to us? Look at this wharf cat. I don't want to offer draw here. Looking at this uh, board. I think we are in the advantage. We also have a lot of big overwhelm unit coming up. He only generate one mystic shot here. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, I don't don't really want to draw here. Uh, but we can swarm his board and try to win next turn. Okay. We are able to powering up our rare threat too. Never running out of resources. Hmm, does he run Ruination here? I think so, right? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we are forcing him to play Vengeance. Okay. He is not playing that much pack, uh, mech, um, what is that, uh, the pack your back. Uh, we are going to offer drone here. Do I do that? Um, I don't like to be offer drone. Yourself right at home. Yes, yes. So he, there's a chance of him generate another go hard. So we should be careful about our Gwen. Maybe I should wait until he play pack your back. Mono Shurima. We shall sing, dance, and forget our woes. If he doesn't have a one drop, then we are able to progress our game playing. Click hands, make it does it anyway. Opponent always have the answer. Uh, maybe I should just wait. Because uh, I have a good value for make it right next turn. Since he will play Rock Hopper, right? If it's made of sand, yeah, you can have my boosters host. Uh, just play defensively for now. Gonna catch the sky. You're wearing that. Oh dear. Like a fish. 
also just do some safety block too. <laughs> We have 5 power Pantone battle, right? Or we are just going to deal 4 damage here. Try to deal maximum damage. If only I can rally here. One mana of four, really. Let's do this. Our alternate win con is um, probably in, in turn six by dealing a lot of um, elusive damage here. Mm, we still have uh, um, extra blocker from strike up the band. Ooh. More elusive unit, I like that. It's not giving us a chance to play Strike Up the Band. Oh, he actually removed his mana gem. I would like him to... I would like to bait for his right of negation here. Uh, maybe I should just attack with rough red too. Uh, he's... Uh, okay. There's right of negation, right? Okay, we win. Yeah, I should attack with Warfred too. <laughs> uh, quicksand can stop us. But if he has quicksand last time, he should just uh blocking our Jeps Rave in all this time. Ooh, we got alternate win con too. Nice game. So for now, I play against AI. Because every time I try to showcase the combo, the opponent just surrender. So I would like to to execute the combo so that all of you can enjoy what is it all about. I don't really want to deal with you guys. Uh, strike up the pen, I guess, so that I can leveling up my Gwen. The sun disks light leads us into the future. A little respect. Warfred also has a synergy with. Um, I don't know, like his Rennington try to pull our unit. Uh, 
Refreshments. Looks like there's no... A uh, vulnerable spell that can pull out Gwen here. Looks pretty safe, I guess. There's so much to see. Where do I start? Oh, he does has it. <laughs> Why he does it now? And why not blocking this golden ambassador? I think the AI is not as smart as usual. The slaughter will never end. He's with us, right? Oh, would you look at this place? No mercy. A bit underdressed. Too slow, stupid. Well, now we got our combo piece here. So let's just leveling up Gwen and then. Let's try to snip him until die. Oh, or maybe we are wait until we get more powerful way to snip. Actually, we can also uh, uh the snip is also get double power with the help of the dreadway, but with the powder keg we are able to even uh, bring the snip into the another level so for now i able to triple the gwen snip power so let's just witness it while we can because ai won't surrender <laughs> Nothing to fear. you see that power <laughs> Fifteen damage just with snip, because every snip is, uh, every snip power is time three, so that's it. Uh, we can tr finish the AI with the knockdown down too. The world in a grain of sand. Yeah, that's it for the combo. Hope you guys enjoy it. See you on the next video. <laughs>